I grew up Catholic, um, but for a lot of my life, Catholicism did not have a very significant uh, part of my life. Uh, I went to Catholic schools my whole life. Um, but as far as just like my personal life, my faith wasn't something that had a lot of importance for me. And then when I was 16, my mom and I moved to New Orleans and uh, it's kind of like my whole life was uprooted at that point and uh, my faith and my religion became something that was, um, you know, something that was consistent for me, something that was, you know, supportive for me when a lot of other things were more in flux at that time in my life. And then I was invited to go on the Archdiocese of New Orleans trip to the March for Life that January, and I was 17 years old. And during that trip, I had a really profound experience of God's love for me, uh, particularly experienced through a sense of love and belonging in community. And that was something I had never really experienced before. And I was um, just really moved by it and wanted that sense to become more of a part of the rest of my life and just the way that I lived my life and just the way that I understood, you know, the world. And so I started reading scripture more and listening to Christian music and just exposed myself more to um, the faith as an aspect of my life. And it became something that became really important to me and that gave me a sense of purpose and, you know, a sense of uh, consolation and of a sense that, you know, I'm loved and I'm supported in the midst of the struggles and difficulties that I had in my life. And that next year in school, um, there was a vocation director of, of a religious order who came to my religion class and he uh, sort of talked about, you know, the religious way of life. And um, it really just appealed to me, the idea of being in a community that, uh, you know, worked together and prayed together and, you know, ate their meals together. And it was like a family whose uh, main purpose was, you know, keeping God at, you know, the forefront of their way of life and all that they did together and all of the work and everything that they did um, was rooted on, you know, keeping God as the focus of their life. And that was something that was really appealing to me at that time. And so towards the end of my time in high school and throughout my time in college, I continued to discern religious life um, with various religious orders. And none of them felt like uh, the perfect fit, and there were just so many religious orders that were out there, I eventually discovered it was just tons of them. And so the question for me was like, how do I pick just one of them? Like, how am I ever going to find the perfect one? And then eventually, uh, the idea of becoming a Benedictine became, um, came into the forefront of my mind. And that was not a religious order that I thought I would be interested in. I thought I would want to join an order that in my mind was a more active religious order and that did more like things, you know, in the community. But I felt a call towards you know, Benedictine life and, and learning more about, you know, the Benedictine values, especially the values of stability and of community life and of praying the liturgy of the hours. And so I knew the Abbey was here, and it was only about an hour away from where I was uh, living and going to college at the time. And so I decided to arrange a visit, and I just, I loved it from the first time I visited. There was just this really palpable sense that God was present in this place, and, you know, there wasn't something that I had to do to earn it or deserve it. It was just there, and I just had to, you know, enter into that peace and to just let myself experience it and embrace it. And from then on, whenever I, you know, looked into other religious orders or considered other religious orders, you know, I, I would always think, well, at the Abbey, they do things this way, and this is what it's like at the Abbey. Um, it just kind of became the standard to which I held everything else that I considered until eventually I just kind of had to make the decision that was in my heart was to, to enter the Abbey. And so here I am.